Let's go, lots of tiny fists. Just around it like this. Oh man, this is gonna take a while. Performed the sacred ritual and summoned House Head. Sp spider skeleton guy. Hippo versus computer. He just shoved him in the face! How's it going champs? We're playing Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. I'm just putting the finishing touches on this guy that I just built. I don't have a name for him yet, so if you want to go ahead and let me know in the comments what I should name this guy, I'll choose the name in the next video and then I'll upload it to the Steam Workshop. Alright, let's see how this guy goes up against an ancient army. This is gonna be interesting. First battle test. Let's go. Oh, I love the way how he runs. Look at his arms. <laughs> he looks so tough. Okay, you go in there, punch them all. That giant spinning thing, it definitely knocks him out of the way. That's what I was going for. Um, he's shot with quite a few arrows at the moment, but it doesn't appear to be bothering him very much. Probably because he's part robot man. Come on, oh yeah, the lightning. The lightning just blasts them. Okay, turns out he's actually pretty tough. Okay, let's try something a little bit bigger. I'm gonna try an army of T-Rexes. Okay, dude, because he's got those big spinning mallet things. I want to see how they go actually whacking into something big enough. Oh my god, he has taken flight. What's going on? How's his health going? Oh, he's got loads of health. <laughs> he's climbed on top of them. He's crowd surfing some T-Rexes. Oh, he's losing control. Come on, get back on your feet. That's it. Oh, he smashed them all. This guy is surprisingly tough. I can't wait to see what names you guys come up with. This creation here is one of the coolest I've seen yet. It's called Killer Monster. Oh, dude, he's got so much health and so much attack. This is going to be interesting. Let's see how this unit goes up against quite a big modern human army. All right. These guys have lots of guns and stuff. He's just zapping them. He's got loads of lasers in his face. What? He's blasting them all away. He's got some really good pushback. And it actually destroys them as well. They can't even get anywhere near him. I think I need to distract him a little bit. So I'm going to get some bugs. Loads of bugs. Then we need a unit that does lots of damage. So I'm going to put some Rockies at the back here to fire missiles at this guy. I'm trying to actually go with some kind of strategy here. Normally I don't do that. Okay, so he's definitely distracted by the bugs. That's nice. The rockets are coming in and the rockets destroyed all of the bugs. Oh no! The praying mantis are stuck on the rocks! They're praying they could move these. They can't actually push the boulders. Oh, he's gonna get you, dude. <laughs> so many of these soldiers back here. But I think it's actually working. The bugs are distracting him. They're the distraction. And then these guys are just shooting them with bullets. I worked out Rockies with their missiles didn't work because they just destroyed all of the bugs. But these guys, they can shoot past the armor. This is working pretty well. How's this thing's health? Oh my god, I've got him down 5%. Okay, so 10 minutes in and I've gotten maybe 10% of the health down. I think I'm gonna call this one a draw. That's not a bad effort. The only guy who can dominate this killer monster over there is, of course, Jeebus. Let's go. Oh yeah, he's in there. Quick smart, destroying the guy. Oh, this thing is so fast. How's his health going? Oh, he's getting him. Slowly but surely. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yes! That's the move! Get in there! Why is the game running like crap? Oh, he's so close! You almost have him! Yes! That's it! My work here is done. So here we've got a city, but today we're not destroying it with Godzilla. Godzilla's taking a rest. Instead, we have Cyborg Kong. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oi, plastic hair man. Look up there. Look up there. There's a there's a big giant monkey thing up there. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. He's broke the building. He weighs so much. He's he's stuck under the rubble. What? What kind of hardcore unit is this one? It's not strong at all. He's stuck in rubble. All right, let me help him out. Let me help him out. I'll get you out of there, champ. I'm not on your side, but I'm going to help you out for the sake of the, the battle and for content, okay? Oh, yeah, that's it. That's the move. He's got, he's got laser beams. He's got an actual laser beam on the side of his head. Okay, these guys are not gonna do very well if they're stuck behind this brick. Okay, they've been crushed to death already. All right, they, yeah, that's it, that's it. Whack that big bronze brick thing. Okay, the humans are coming in. Oh God, this rubble is terrible. Oh man, this is crazy. Cyborg Kong just dropped a building on one of these humans. Oh, this guy's actually doing all right. He's still alive. He's just stood back. 
He's just blasting him with his shotgun. Oh, no, no. Watch out for the building. Oh, man. You got smashed. He got smashed big time. But that does look like a metal bump. I'm not going to lie. Oh, no. Watch out, Umbrella Man. <laughs> this guy's just enjoying the park. Cyborg Kong comes along and blinds them with his epic laser pointer. Oh, no, no, no. Watch out, watch out. Oh, I got him. Oh, you guys are dead. You guys definitely lost. You only got 2% of yourself off. Who can possibly save the city from destruction? Like I said, Godzilla, he's on retirement. He's kicking his feet up. So we've got this thing. This is Moto Moto. Okay, but the battle's on. This guy's filling in for Godzilla, and he's very slow. He takes baby steps, and he just ha had a bunch of rubble land on his head. He's not very good, but we'll take what we can get. Oh yeah, slow and steady wins the race. Okay, now that's not a good bit. That is not a good sign. He has so much rubble on top of him. Just get this rubble. Oh god, we've lost him. We've lost the hippo man. Oh, oh, it's on. It's going to be on. Hippo versus computer. He just shoved him in the face. Did you see that? Wow, this guy does not take any crap. The battle is on. He's already taken off a good quarter of his health. That's amazing. Oh, dude, dude this guy's crazy. He's got no chill. Wow. I think Godzilla's just found his replacement. Yeah, well done, hippo guy. So it's Spooktober. We've got to have a spooky unit. This one is called Sky Screamer. I made the sky nighttime so that it was extra spooky. Look at his face. He kind of looks like an octopus ghost thing. I don't know what it is. I'm going to put it up against some ancient humans who are trying to defend their wall. There's nothing on the other side of the wall. I don't know what they're defending. Alrighty, champs. Let's go. Let's see if you, you just broke your own wall. Why would you do that? Okay, that's fine. The humans, they're gonna fire their arrows. They, they're, they're all dead. Everyone's dead. What? This Sky Screamer is insane. It's got rockets. I didn't even know it had rockets. It's just launching the humans all over the place. And it's doing it with a spooky sad face. The ancient army is back from the dead. They're a bunch of skeletons and one of them turned into a hell dog for some reason. I don't know. And these things with the swollen bums. Why did, Why are their bums like that? And they've brought with them the spooky house head. And the battle's on to defend just this wall. <laughs> Here they go. They've already bashed the wall down. It really doesn't matter what they're fighting for at the moment. They're just angry. They're just really, really angry. Okay, that's it. They're f oh man, house head. I thought he was going to be stronger than that. He's actually doing an okay job stabbing Screamer underneath. But the Screamer guy, he's got like missiles and stuff. He's really hard to beat. See that? House Head is now Tiny Bricks. He's just Tiny Bricks. And Sky Screamer has basically won. Yep. He is one. He is the best. I'm going to build kind of a robot fist unit. Let's see if we can scale this thing up as big as we can. I think this ball thing is actually quite stable. Yeah, the ball is very st- <laughs> We just crushed that guy. Oh, he's like, he can't do anything. He can't do anything. He's just a tiny human. I'll show you what I mean by stable. If I get some legs here and I make these size five like I did the ball, watch what happens. <laughs> They're not stable at all. They're just like all over the place. It doesn't really work. Yeah, look at that. What is he doing? Where's he going? Can you attach anything to the ball? Oh, yeah, you can. But that wouldn't work. How would he roll around? That doesn't make sense. Hang on. Maybe if I made the fists smaller, this might work. Let's go, like, tiny fists. Let's go lots of tiny fists just around it like this. Oh, man, this is going to take a while. This is a lot of fists to put down. Surely this thing's not going to roll, right? Like, the fists are going to be in the way. This could be all for nothing. Is this thing going to roll? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think this thing... It's just gonna break. It could break. I want this fist unit to be crazy strong. Not like, you know, like stupidly overpowered, but probably just the strongest fist unit I've done yet. Sometimes I get halfway through these builds and I'm thinking, Finpire, what the heck are you doing, man? <laughs> this is really weird. This is really weird, even for you, okay? This is like one of those builds in Tiny Town where I'm like, oh my God. You're halfway through it, but you can't back out. You have to keep going. So for this guy, I'm thinking something like Planet Fist or something like that, or Fist Globe, or I don't know. If you guys have any ideas for a name, let me know in the comments. We can always change his name. Oh my God. 
What is this? It looks like hit like hair, but at the same time fists. Just some eyes. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll give him a nose. Um, usually a fist works pretty well as a nose. Uh, does he? He probably needs a hat. We'll give him a hat. That uh, hat looks weird. I think it's back to front. Oh god. Okay, can we get a mustache on this thing? I usually like to put uh, mustaches on my fist units. It just makes them feel a little bit more human, you know what I mean? So we'll get, yeah, we'll get a nice little mustache going on. There we go, that's not bad. We'll get the other side as well. Oh yeah, look at that mustache! That is pretty good! Alright, are you ready to get tested? Let's try this thing. Oh, it moves! It moves! It even almost rolls! Hang on, can I, like, keep him there so that I can... How do we put fists in that other bit? Okay, maybe I can just push him. Just give him a little shove. Oh, push. Push! Urgh. I wish I could rotate this guy around to put fists under the blank bit. Hmm. Alright, let's just test this with some more humans just to see how it goes. Just to see how he goes with larger numbers. Uh, okay, yeah, there's a few. Alright, here we go. Yeah, he's rolling forward! Bang, 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 bang! He just like creates a massive path right through the middle of them. Whoa! What happened? Oh, he's doing a weird wiggle thing. I think he died. Oh, that sucks. He's turned into a jellyfish. I know what happened. My multipliers were weird. I had these guys set like 20 times stronger than what they normally are. Alrighty, let's go! Mow these humans down! Oh, dude, yes! Yes, the path of destruction! It's good! Look at those fists! He looks so amazing. I like this guy. I like him. He's very tough. He punches very well. <laughs> this guy is like, oh my god. He looks so surprised. The dude is jealous of that guy's mustache and his muscles. I mean, look at that mustache. That's a mean mustache. Oh, that is amazing. These guys just got punched so hard. Look at that. He's got a human like up here just riding in the fists. Yeah, victory! Okay, I'm gonna call this guy Planet Fist. There we go. That's a good name. It's a good name for this guy. I won't put him up on the workshop just yet, but if you guys come up with a better name than Planet Fist, let me know in the comments. Planet Fist versus Robozilla. I haven't made any changes to this guy since I built him in the last video, but let's see how he goes up against Planet Fist. All right, let's go. He died. He died instantly. <laughs> What is going on with this thing? Oh my gosh, stop it! Stop it! It's freaking me out! Okay, let's try this guy up against some fantasy units. Oh, let's go, champs. That's a lot of wyverns. Are they just gonna get punched out of the sky? Yeah, he's punching them real good! Look at that, he's even, like, eyeing that one off. Oh, he's gonna get you. He's gonna get you! He's punched everything else. This guy's actually pretty strong. I quite like him. Oh yeah, nice one, dude. I was gonna put him up against Godzilla, but he's definitely not strong enough to beat Godzilla. I'd say he's more on par with like the rest of the uh, the fist units. Okay, let's try him up against Spider Mecha. I think this might be a little bit more even. Oh, not even close. Spider Mecha's got some crazy strong weaponry. It's gonna be hard to find an even match for this thing. Oh, hang on. No, I know an even match. You can't get any more even than this. Let's go. Planet Fist versus Planet Fist. <laughs> what? What just happened? I think I need to give this guy some more health. I'll go ahead and upgrade his health for the next video, I think. He's a little bit weak. If you guys have got some ways you'd like to see me update Planet Fist, let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys next time.